Okay, so guys, we're talking about dating in the city, and today we're focused on the approach. How do you approach someone and not come across as a creep or scare them off? Daniel, you said you've been picked up by girls before. What's mm -hmm. the, been the best pickup so far? The the best the best time that someone has picked me yeah. up. Yeah. Um, I guess I was at a bar. I wasn't of age, so I was uh, I was just hanging out, having a drink. Um, an older woman came up, started talking to me, and I thought, okay, this this should be fun. You know, and then she said, let's get out of here. I said, to where? What, are we going to another bar or something? She said, no, 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 we're going back to my place. So Brilliant. It seemed to work out okay for me that time. <laughs> just, being nice. Nice, just being nice and respectful. Would yeah. you call her a cougar? Yeah, so this is, the interesting, is this is the interesting thing. I was 18 and she was 31. My dad was 54 and his girlfriend was 29. So she was older than my dad's girlfriend. Wow. It was really weird. You must have been tough for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I kind of was. Uh, yeah. And then he, my dad told his girlfriend and she was really weirded out by it. <laughs> Hold on, so you share your dating stories with your dad? I used to, yeah. You used to, yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to your buddies here. Do you guys have game as well? Peter, uh, you're Zach, up next. Zach has a lot of game. <laughs> Probably not Peter to the Zach. same What's degree. What's your take on dating the city? Um, it's an interesting experience. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what to say. Um, do you meet people diff online? Do you do any online profiles or I Tinder like do, this guy? I do Tinder sometimes, but I think I just do it more to kind of like pass the time when I'm like, you know, like waiting to meet a friend or... Uh, That's encouraging. That sounds really terrible. I don't mean it quite like that. Um, oh, flicking through a few pretty girls. Yeah, you know. It's the time well. Yeah, it's yeah. more, you know, if I'm, in your area. Or, you know, if you're like hanging out with someone and they're a little dry, you just kind of like open up your phone and like pretend to listen to them. Uh, I've definitely been guilty. Hope you don't do that on dates. No, That's I don't rude. do that on dates. That's the biggest faux pas. No, I don't yeah. do that on dates. It's Have you been like, on any dates recently? Uh, not recently, uh, but that's also because I was just away in Europe for a few weeks, so I just got back. So you have so, an excuse? Yeah, I Okay, think. what about Zach? Have you been on any dates recently? Uh, my girlfriend and I just broke up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, but it's a tough time you're going through, but you're getting back out there. So what are the advice that your buddies are giving you for getting back out there and uh, getting in your groove again? Wow. Uh, they have no advice for me. I don't know. You don't listen to them either now. I don't know. The notion of having like tactics or something like that is rather dehumanizing. Right? It's like, it turns, you know, the opposite but how sex else are, or how else are we going to meet someone? We have to have some kind of strategy to like approach someone or warm them up or... I don't know, just like speak as you would to any person, right? I, I don't know, I, I don't I don't think about it ahead of time. I think that would make me very nervous. Or, oh yeah? You know, yeah, I mean, if it's premeditated or something, that's kind of like... <laughs> so if you think of your line and plan it and then approach a girl, you think it would just come across yeah, I mean, really like, awkward and nervous. Yeah, right, but like, what do you say next? Or like, what if it flops? I don't know, I would never, I would never be able to. <laughs> I saw this woman that I thought was uh, really attractive and she seemed really nice. She was actually hassling one of the bouncers to get in back into this bar. So I s stood up for the bouncer. I said, hey, you know, you really shouldn't hassle him. The guy's doing his job. By the way, could I have your number? Maybe you should, maybe you should go out. Um, and she, she was a little bit older. I didn't know how old she was. And uh, I sent her a text. I said, would you like to go for a drink? And she said, yeah, but I have to ask, how old are you? And I said, well, you know, I just decided to be honest. I'm 22 and you know what, if, uh, if, if that's, you know, if that's a problem for you, then that's okay. I just, you know, want to be really respectful. I don't want to impose or anything like that. And she said, wow, do you know how old I am? I'm 35, but you know what? You obviously have the courage to, you know, ask out an older woman. So I'm interested to meet you. So let's, nice. let's go out. So she was, she was great. She was, uh, she was a lot of fun, but I don't know what the moral of the story is. I guess that you should just be respectful, but also not afraid to just uh, start conversation. No, that's a, that's a good technique as well, yeah. though, because you kind of saw a scenario taking place yeah. and you kind of edged in as an icebreaker, just chatted <laughs> about it. Yeah. You sort of put the bouncer, you probably should have like backed her <laughs> off, but then you turned it around into conversation and she's like, okay, this guy yeah. has some guts. I think that's the worst dating experience okay. I've ever had is hearing okay. in detailed um, descriptions of, of sex with a past partner. That's got to be, because that, that's something that you, no. it's, it's not like a one-time offense. It's not like somebody, you know, slaps you or something like that. That's like you think about it for months and months and months afterwards. Yeah, you, you know? ruminate on it. That's not a good kinky bedtime story. No, no uh, maybe it is for some people, but not, 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 not for necessarily the, not for, for this me. guy. <laughs> okay, Daniel, thanks so much. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so kind. I'm, so, I'm trying to be Canadian. High five. I didn't do very good at that. You're there we go. The okay. <laughs> do, you know, do you know the Top Gun high five? No, what is it? So you high yeah. five like that. And okay. Then you go, Oh, cool. I'm, not, I'm not coordinated enough. Okay, to do nice. It, we're trying to do it over the mic. Okay, one <laughs> yeah, more time. We'll nail it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yay, thanks. All right, all right, <laughs>